What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's video is going to be showing you guys how to adjust your shaky mirrors, uh, adjust your wipers, and I'm going to try to get my wiper bottle uh, to work. If not, then uh, I'll show you what uh, the process is for me to just try to check that out. Thanks for watching guys. Alright, <clears throat> so uh, as uh, most of you guys know, uh, with uh, GTS mirrors where they can break away, they have issues of shaking like crazy and so that just comes from uh, years of usage, um, opening and closing the driver's side door more than the passenger door, so everything becomes loose and worn down and what I found and some people uh, don't, I didn't know for a long time, is that you can actually adjust the, uh, the tightness of these uh, mirrors. And so if you look under here, there are three screws. One, one for the actual uh, mirror itself, which is right here in the middle. And then two for the base of the mirror, connecting the, um, the flipping piece to the actual uh, base. And so what you want to do is um, loosen them and then tighten them back up. Doing that simple thing will actually tighten this whole shell, tighten the mirror down, and uh, allow it to not shake so much. Um, some people, they have better results than others. This one actually works really well. Uh, curls in the past that I've had uh, adjusting this sometimes didn't even help because it was so worn. Uh, the springs and everything inside were already really worn, so it didn't really have much effect. But um, this one, it actually did some good to it, and so it doesn't shake as much anymore. Uh, they both kind of shake the same amount now, uh, little Parkinson's, but um, yeah, uh, that's one little trick you can do for these uh, shaky mirror, driver side mirrors, and, and, and you can do it on the other side as well. I'm going to be removing this uh, bottle and testing the actual um, pump itself. I haven't had this hooked up in a long time because it hasn't been working. So I'm going to test the pump to see if it's working. And if it is, then it's a connection between the lines and the switch. Give me a fuse. I checked the fuses and they looked fine, but it might be like a, a ground or a cut somewhere along the lines. So I'm going to check these, this connection first. We're gonna do a quick battery to motor check. See if it works. Plug this into the positive. Plug it into the negative. And then just 
touch them. See if it turns on. It seems to want to work. It clicks, but it doesn't actually. Oh shit! It clicks, but it doesn't actually turn. This other one it actually does turn. This is the one I got out of the MR2 right here. That's a solid, solid turn. Working pump. Oh yeah, that works. So we're gonna install this guy. Just noticed, look at that. There's holes in it, that sucks. Maybe it burned? I don't know. We're gonna have to fill that. We're gonna have to fix that. But for now, let's try to see if it'll work on the car. Assuming these are the correct ones, since it matches the plug, let's stick it in there, and then we'll turn it on, see if I hear it turn on. What can go wrong? Power on, and then oh, my gosh, it works! Oh, yeah, look at that. And all this time, I thought it was um, something else. All right, look at that. So, we just need to splice this onto this cable and then put that into there and we're done. Add this connector to there. Or maybe even down here, I don't know. Maybe down here. Extend it a bit. I'll be back. Okay, so there it is. Splice into a splice into a splice. So this is the MR2 motor. This is the uh, original plug or a plug to fit the original harness. And it was done up here once by somebody else and then I just added that to it. Okay, another test first before we throw everything in, fix it and throw everything in. Awesome, perfect. All right, so good and bad news. That's a story, I guess that's a story for this car. Uh, 
the pump works great. It fits and it should be able to pump all the way to my uh, squirters and have no issues but the actual container itself has holes on both sides here so I'm gonna have to get some resin and fill that up uh, afterwards it'll go right in and be pumping uh, it, this car has never had working uh, squirters in the years that I've had it it doesn't rain much here in San Diego but um, I decided you know you gotta get it working for the video for the series and uh, yeah I'm excited about that um, I thought about plastic welding it but I don't think uh, I'm able to get into those crevices and uh, I'm not able to work uh, how I need to to get that working correctly so I'm gonna just resin over it and see how that goes I'm thinking it'll be strong enough maybe I'll do it from the inside but um, however I decide to fix it, uh, you'll see. Uh, if not today, maybe tomorrow. Gotta go buy some first. But I'm gonna install this back into the car so I can drive it around. Okay, so I also got this hose from the MR2 itself, which is nice because it um, has everything that I need. I'm going to try to actually route this hose instead of that one. That one's kind of old. This one, and since the MR2 has obviously the engine in the back, this is like brand new. It's so flexible and clean. All of this is still kind of um, flexible, but I just really wanted to keep this because it's so clean. So here we go. First, we'll put this back in. Not back in, but in for the first time. So it's in. We'll drop this down. Bring it back up. In place. Screw in. I'm excited. Rainy season's coming. It's going to make my windows really dirty, so. Good. Very helpful. And if I do need to take it apart, it's really easy to pull back out. So that's not an issue. Since it is from MR2, it runs differently. Connect down to this one, different style. Run that back that way. Put that in. Lock that into there. Sorry. 
that. I'll leave that like that for now. Get that out of the way. There it is. Not the prettiest. Installed. And it should be functional as soon as I fix that hole, those two holes. Lots of uh, routing to be done, but we'll do that in a later date. For now, just want to get it in. For this next part, the final part, we're going to be adjusting the wiper blades, the wipers. Um, the left one in this this video, this frame right here, is a little high, and I don't know why it's always been like that, but I'm just going to adjust it real quick so that uh, it looks good, looks even. So to adjust it, you just open the hood, bonnet, bonnet for some of you guys, take a 12 millimeter, loosen it, break it loose, comes off easy, and then what I like to do is I like to bend the actual wiper itself. pressure off of it and then just adjust it to where I want it somewhere around there there we go Much better. Now they're even. It's the little things that count, right? sand in my windshield but looks good one last part is that you look right there it's actually not touching the windshield I think what I need to do bend it down there it is Fully 
functioning. There it is. Nice and level. Alright guys, thanks for watching um, this episode. I'm pretty happy that I was able to get that uh, um, wiper bottle to wiper motor and wiper bottle to actually work. Um, happy that my wipers look good now. Um, I'm glad that I was able to show you guys the actual mirror adjustment. Uh, three, two, three screws down here. And let me know if you guys want anything else to be shown in this channel. I'll try to see if I uh, actually know how to do it. I mean, all I know, I'm willing to show everybody. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully you got something good out of this.